hello guys and welcome to another ron gamer video this is going to be a video where i will cover the top suggestions and tips that i want to give out to all players perhaps new and new uh, old and new as well uh, that i think everyone should do um, in dawn of titan so uh, now before you watch this video if you haven't checked out my earlier video on the top things not to do in dawn of titans uh, do consider watching that i'll try and include a link in the description for that anyway let's get cracking with my top things to do in dawn of titans uh, the first thing i would say uh, and this is very important is and uh, although it might be obvious to a lot of old players but some of some players might just miss this fact that subsequent rewards in your daily chain get better and better so now if you miss a particular reward you um, especially in the higher end of the chain you could miss out on you know quite good stuff like for example um the titan token you see at day 25 um three so titan dura dura 26 now this calendar that you see the daily calendar is different for everyone but normally the rewards in the end are the prime ones so try and not miss out on those particular rewards equally important is that you uh, do your daily quests and normally uh, these quests are fairly easy to do so um, and uh, the amount of gems you can pick up does vary depending on your i think castle level or player level uh, probably castle level um, but uh, these are all free gems for example um, you know i can quite regularly pick up uh, close to 350 gems um you know 320 to 350 gems every day uh which if you multiply by seven you'll only looking at 2000 gems for uh, simply doing these fairly easy uh daily quests so don't miss out on those also equally you could uh, try and finish up your campaigns and um, adventures they do give a few gems there as well so yeah do your daily quests along with those um also don't forget to do your titan arenas and titan monuments uh, try and hit the maximum amount uh, the maximum uh, level of these if, as you as you can um now also thing to keep in mind that uh, these titan monuments are fairly easy to do um uh, you know even at the higher levels if your troops are i would say around level 15 or 16 you can probably hit these quite easily uh, or if you have a uh, you know if you have a good titan to uh, which can you know self buffing titan then you're probably able to roll these regularly every day because they give you the monuments give you uh, free uh, pre level titans level 1 or level 2 normally sometimes you do drop level 3 titans as well uh, no level 4 unfortunately and the monuments do give you a ma uh, the arenas do give you a massive amount of uh, titan xp so yeah don't miss out on those um, and uh, today we're going to actually uh, when you when this video goes out there will be theaters of war as well uh, the titan monuments can you can actually hit all the titan monuments during theaters of war which is something uh, a lot of players don't know so yeah when the theaters of war event drops uh, do check out all the monuments and you should be able to hit all of them at six portal stones apiece uh, the next thing that i would suggest you do is uh, uh, try and aim to do at least 2000 souls per event now the reason i showed record here is because uh, the last week uh, the last event we had now i didn't want to grind the whole event but what I did is I made sure that I grinded the whole weekend of course I had a lot of time in my hand but if you but and I got to 5,000 souls and that was the event minimum alliance minimum to get uh, to be in the top 50 and now obviously depending on the events that come the uh, you know you can't always just do 5,000 souls and have your alliance carry you forward but when you're not pretty trying to do the event try and do at least 2000 souls i believe you pick up two or three tokens just by doing that and that's 200 battles if you even if you don't have any boost there so that and if it's especially if it's a three or four day event like the ones you have from thursday to monday um you you know you pick up those uh, you pick up three four tokens uh two or three tokens let's say and uh, you multiply that by four weeks you got eight tokens you know get, and then and there are obviously uh, quite often you find these mini relic events come in as well so you can normally stack up up to 12 to 
you know, and if, if depending on the weeks and type of events and your availability, maybe up to 20 tokens a month, and you could do an event every month for free. So uh, make sure you do those minimum 2,000 souls, and they're not very hard, very hard to to get. Uh, the other suggestion I would say is if you're obviously um, it's probably not worth mentioning that it's uh, you know being an alliance has so many benefits, but now when you're an alliance if you are new and you don't know this um you know everyone is obviously going to be trying trying to go and get themselves vp resources or gold now it's more important that uh, uh, you know the alliance scores vp if you're trying to climb up the leaderboard get more gems and end of season rewards for your team etc so, so uh, if it's always a good idea if you can post and link up uh, VP lands. Uh, if you don't know this already, if you see the uh, little uh, location symbol on the middle left of the screen, that's what you need to hit. If you spot a land which is good, just hit the hit that, and it will post the land to your lands chat, and that way others can hit it. And uh, and you know when you are out of portal stones, you can't hit those lands. You can help out your lands by marking those lands up. Now, other thing is uh, regarding relics and leveling them up. Uh, now, not long ago, we there wasn't a feature called favorite, which you see now. Um, but now you're able to, for a while now, you're able to favorite relics. So what that means is you can hit that little icon on the bottom left of each relic, uh, that little flag thing you see there. And when you do that, you can. Uh, it's quite easy from using the tabs on the left to get to that relic and start working on that relic easily rather than having to scroll through all of this together uh, there is an update coming in in 1.34 where we, we will be able to have alphabetical sorting but for now till that happens um and even without that having relics to fav favorite some relics and then start working on those all right now uh, the the other suggestion is always remember that in Dawn of Titans, it's all about VP trading. If you're in a competitive alliance, you're trying to get yourself yourself and the alliance a lot of VP. Now, for example, here I've just taken um, this castle, and this is me not targeting this person for any reason, just kind of showing an example. Now, if I read this garrison, um, I will get 6000 VP. But my, currently, if this person who is around the same castle level as me raids my garrison successfully, he or she will pick up about 14 or 15,000 um, VP. So for me, hitting this garrison, uh, it's at a risk of actually losing 8,000 VP if they raid. In fact, actually, it's a bit more or less depending on how the um, how the actual mechanics of VP loss works, which is a bit which is in a topic of itself. But it's always a good idea to try and hit targets which are um, at a higher VP or equal VP when referring to garrison hits. Of course, for lands, uh, you know, you can always hit any, v uh, any VP land. Obviously, the higher the VP on the land, the more benefit you get out of your portal stones that you spend on it. The other suggestion is uh, always have your troops always have your troops and your spells upgrading it doesn't matter what's upgrading in there but uh, avoid having any uh, you know any any time where your armory or your uh, spell factory what do they call it uh, arcane tower i think it is yeah so have something upgrading already so you don't lose time because as you go up in higher troop levels you will see that the amount of time it takes to upgrade a single troop here could be as long as a month so having something running always is a good idea so you know plan in advance if you are going to have a particularly um, busy week you don't think you're going to be able to lo log in for a while or something like that try and set up a, a, a troop that takes longer to upgrade um, yeah so that's some session there um, also a good idea uh, is to always uh, whenever you can that is uh, without paying gems uh, request reinforcements from your alliance members uh, doing this helps your alliance members get a few gems. Now, you might think, well, it's just a gem, one gem for the, uh, for the alliance. But if you request them quite often, and if everyone in your alliance does this, then um, you can rake up 
sizable amount of gems so for example there was a uh, there was a it was last week that i did about 200 um, reinforcements well that's 200 gems for literally doing nothing and you know and just yeah yes it'll cost me food to train my troops back but i think that's totally worth it so consider always uh, requesting your troops so yeah even if you're not you know into battle where you need your reinforcements you know kill off your reinforcements once in a while and request your troops and that helps everyone um other thing here and uh, is try and join your alliances um, uh, you know some sort of communication group which is off the game so um now for example here um you know yeah, this is an alliance member asking me, hey, do you have a line group? And yeah, that's my line ID. Yeah, if anyone, by the way, wants to um, join Kraken or you know is interested in joining the alliance, you can always free to drop, uh, you know, connect me through that ID. But line and band, for example, and Facebook as well, all of these have um, have a lot of big player, uh, pl uh, you know, a lot of players, old time players and new players in there. Uh, always recruiting, always having ideas and suggestions going around. And in fact, a lot of suggestions I've gotten from my builds come from there. So always do that. There's also worth mentioning, and I don't have a link here, unfortunately, but um, do check out dotdatabase.net, a fantastic website uh, made by Yuki. And um, that, that's where you can test out all the builds for your Titans and check which one's good. So yeah, do look outside the game. There are a lot of these resources available that can uh, you know uh, keep you well informed and knowledge is power uh, other session here is choose a league that's appropriate to your player level if you're if you are like uh, let's say castle level 10 11 or something like that you probably don't want to be hanging around in champions and masters league um, you know you might get away with being elite league but so because if you're in the high leagues and you're all, and you're a lower level player you won't be able to grow yeah you probably will get um, you might get a few more rewards, um, you know, if you find an alliance that's happy to house you. But you will not be able to grow normally quicker um, in the high league. So choose a league that's at a castle level. It's absolutely fine to stick around in elite or whatever it is, um, as long as you are growing and you, and, you know. Uh, and once you feel, you know, yep, yeah, you've got, you know, you're you're at a stage where yeah, you can raid high level lands, high level players. Yep, move the leagues and do that as well. Also, when you're considering leveling a Titan, choose to level a Titan which is appropriate to your castle level. Here's, for example, Hercules is a fantastic three-star paladin, probably the best in the game. And uh, this this guy will carry you well enough to, um, you know, into the, um, uh, you know, sort of early to lower mid-level uh, mid uh, games mid castle level games because when you're at low castle levels your troops are not going to be carrying you forth it's the titan so hercules even champions like durat for example and infiltrators big infiltrators are great as well but try and yeah try and find yourself a three titan you can work on um one exception of that probably be sardu and some of these rangers because rangers they themselves can also deal a lot of damage while also buffing troops so yeah they're a good investment to make as well um, now other thing as well you know that you it down titans is obviously an intense game where you know if you're going to try and make vp all the time it you can you can experience burnout so my suggestion is try and have weeks and day uh, you know uh, where you can you know you're sitting out be, be it in demotion zone be it in an in an alliance that your uh, that your uh, beat in a port that your alliance has which is like for resting and you know just for farming and that will uh, you know help revitalize your energy and uh, you know keep things in balance because having continuous war weeks you know can be quite draining um also in this and let me just see what i had in the uh yep uh, season change so it's uh, you know a lot of big alliances that you know get on the top of the leaderboard and this is a screenshot from this week so it's just uh, the event the, the season's only begun a day ago obviously it's tuesday so but you can see a lot of big uh, a lot of big alliances get their leads on uh, in especially in the top five alliances during this time so 
if you can be active during season change it's a big big advantage not only will you find a lot of big vp lens to hit and cap uh, but also um, you know you can prevent others from raiding your very ripe vp lens so yeah be active in season change if you can of course if depending on the time zone you're in this uh, will be might be challenging but uh, if you can try and be active during season change it makes a lot of different season change uh, your ranking sorry uh, other suggestion here is while trying to upgrade these uh, five star relics that you may or may not have but so um uh, yeah, five star relics is not something everyone's gonna have. That's true, but if you get lucky on the 500 DG pool, or you do a guaranteed 5000 uh, divine gem altar pool, and you have a five star relic, you might find that, and especially if you're a lower castle level, um, you'll find the cost to upgrade these relics is immense. Um, now here, for example, what I'm, what I'm showing is a night vest per habit level one. Uh, I think it was, it was level and this uh, and I'm just showing you an example of how you can probably effectively do this by fusing four four star relics into it. Now these are not the relics I do I want to fuse necessarily. It's just for an example. But the idea is that uh, if you have four you have some four star relics you don't really need. Maybe they're duplicates, uh, or maybe they're simply just bad relics. Then you know uh, save them for. Uh, uh, you know a time when you have some amount of food uh, so that um, you know and you can fuse them then and it will save you a lot of time and food for doing that um, now also important thing here which a lot of new players forget that there is something called titans unleashed in which is a titans xp event during this event you get 50 percent titan fusion from fusing any event, any titan to any other titan all right now there's uh, the other thing you may or may not be aware if especially if a new player fusing a titan into its own class will always give you an extra benefit so fusing infiltrators into infiltrators paladins into paladins so on and so forth is always something that you want to do uh, so yes there might be times where you say right i'm just going to focus on this one titan i'm going to choose everything into it but that will not land you the maximum benefit uh, so for maximum benefit try and save your titans uh, that you want to throw away but for this time of the month see these events uh, will be will always come around once a month so um, so save your titans for that so what you can do which i do a lot is just before the uh, or just around the time that titans unleash is going to come what i do is i fuse up my level 12 titans that i normally get from um, uh, you know monuments um, and i level them up to level 15 because it helps me save some food and then when the event drops i just fuse all these titans uh, into my project titan so uh, probably this one is going to go into my ladega for example now other suggestion which i did mention in my don't video but uh, i'm going to cover it here as well do set up ping pong lands so ping pong lands i've mentioned this before but i'll do it again is when you have a low level titan uh, set up with minimum troops so uh, here the seven troops that you see in this land is is the pre-station troops so i'm not deploying any troops uh, on top of those and with no spells and doing this helps um, uh, you know it becomes an invitation for others to raid these lands while they do the same on their land and this mutually helps wrecking up quick souls because it obviously takes longer to raid uh, to raid a fully defended land compared to a low defended land other thing other tip i want to give out here is now when you're raiding a land for example here's a poseidon do study the relics uh, before you go in uh, you you know avoid presuming what relics are on there studying the relics can really help you f uh, figure out the weakness for this attack for example if i'm going to attack this poseidon you know first of all yeah this is a summoning titan so it's going to summon imperial so taking a ranged at based attack is probably not a wise idea now the thing you can notice is that uh this there's, there's a frost shield in there now we don't know what the defense for the frost shields could be poison physical something like that but that's going to be 40 percent so uh and there is that three star elemental graph so you can say it right there is a there is a particular element that that's going to have 56 percent resistance so this these imperials are going to be resistance to that so 
you want to take an, an attacker based on that so studying relics before you go in is a good idea and also compare them with the troops so maybe you have so that's uh, so you, you because sometimes what happens is you'll find players that will set up the hair uh, their lands with the wrong troops you might find a Poseidon with uh, with mostly Panthers in there and then well that's a good thing for you as an attacker so by checking this out it can really help you figure out the best strategy in attacking that land um, other suggestion here is when you're going into when you when you have uh, uh, when you're in a competitive uh, alliance and you're trying to get your VP and you might be and when you are likely to get attacked quite often always have a particular you, you know your chosen attack titans ready and equipped with all the relics so you want to have let's say a couple of titans which you use for attack all are decked out with the attack relics ready to go at a moment's notice and obviously having choices always helps in the long run uh, other thing as well if you're getting if you when you when your garrison gets raided um, have a look at the at the icon uh, for information on which titans raiding your, uh, um, your your land or garrison so for example over here these are this tells me that well these lands are being raided by a Kronos so this could be let's say maybe Goliaths coming in might be archers um, you know so what that tells me is that right if i want to defend this land better or this garrison better that's my garrison better against this attacker then i probably should switch up my relics or my or my titan itself to counter the element that's and titan type that's attacking in so having switchable defenses so having multiple titan that you can switch between for your defense is always ideal um, and yet yeah, this could be more of a luxury uh, for the higher level players but for uh, but for the low level players, if uh, you know, if possible, try and switch your your attack, your your defense when you're attacked, especially in a garrison. Uh, one other suggestion here is keep a tab on your treasury timer. Now, obviously, it's it's ideally what you want is to have your treasury always empty. But when you're raiding all the time, that uh, you'll find that your treasury does get full. Um, and you know you if you, and there might be a time where you unfortunately will find that there might be a good reward a four star drop for example that comes from the battles and because you didn't pay attention to the timer you you, you lost them so so it's always a good idea to keep a large lead now this is a probably a bad example but having a um, a good lead of a day or two a day perhaps or two but having a lead of a day on your treasury is a good idea so that you um, you prevent the chances of losing the rewards when they when they are in there. Uh, other session is now save your uh, if possible save your tokens your titan tokens and epic tokens for for pulling a class of titans that you really want. Now, for example, if I was working on my Minotaur, uh, then this is a good this is a good place to go for because I would I, you know even if I get a bad infiltrator is a two star or a three star whatever it is it can at least be titan fusion food for my project titan also there uh, there will be times where these tokens can be used for other things for example there's going to be a titan uh, the altar of plenty event during this event you can use one of these tokens i'm not sure which one it is but you can actually use this token for getting a free pool so um so consider when um when you use these tokens wisely uh, regarding gems and yep some people asked me earlier well Ron you got so many gems how did you how do you have so many gems after that so my suggestion to you is when you're gonna if you're gonna be spending on the game and if you think you're gonna be long term you might as well buy the bigger packages but also don't just don't just buy even these packages that are in there I the only time that I've ever bought gems and it's been a while since I've actually bought gems um, I only buy them when there are these exclusive promotions and I'm not talking about the promotions you see on the screen um, for example there is a uh, there is a uh, no that's in dollars that's a $99 deal so for $99 you can pick up 71,000 gems I think during certain promotions so look out for those promotions the promotions that you get on your account will be based on your your spending history so if you're not spent a lot you actually get a lower deal but it will still be um, at, at a better value than you get even with these uh, you know that are currently in the gem packs all right guys I believe those are all the tips that I wanted to give out if there's anything that I've missed you think that's important 
uh, do share your comments in the comment section below and if you do like this sort of content and uh, you know uh, do drop a like and if you haven't subscribed consider doing that it really helps out a lot thank you for your viewership and i'll catch you all in another wrong video